so this is my tutorial on how to solve the standard um, 3x3 Rubik's Cube and um, the method I will be teaching you guys is the beginner's method it's um, pretty easy to learn and there's not that many algorithms so you guys should have no problem picking it up um, just a few things the pieces of the cube um, there's three pieces involved in the cube. Um, there's edge pieces which only have two colors as you can see that one's green white orange white blue orange those are edge pieces. Um, corner pieces are the ones in the corner obviously and they have three colors on them for example this is the green red white corner um, and then there's center pieces this is the blue center piece and this is the white center piece so on. Um, the center pieces only have one color and um, they never move. See, there, it's impossible to move the center piece. So this is always going to be the red face, this is always going to be the green face, always going to be the white face, and so on. Um, so if you're ever unsure of what color a face should be, um, just look at the center piece. So um, one more thing before we get started here is um, the notation. Um, of the cube, and so the face that's facing you is called the F face, and um, in this case, the F face for me is green, and so if I say to make an F turn, that means to turn the F face clockwise. Um, F I or F inverted would be counterclockwise. Um, the face to the right side is the R face, so R would be R clockwise, and R I R counterclockwise. L, um, same thing, or I guess L and L clockwise, L counterclockwise, and then the U face is the one on the top, and so U would be clockwise, UI counterclockwise, and um, then there's the B face, which is the face that is opposite the face that is facing you, um, so it if you turn the cube 180 degrees in your hand, you'd be looking at the B face. Um, and also this bottom one is the D face, but you won't have to use, you won't have to make any D turns in this method. Alright, so our next step is to scramble the cube here. I'm probably failing epically at this, but... And you don't have to re really get a good scramble on it. Um, you know, like, a 15-move scramble is just about as hard as, you know, a 100-move scramble, so. Alright. Now, our first step... Oh, voice crack. Our first step is to, um, get a white cross on the yellow face. And so what I mean by that is to get all the white edge pieces, or edge pieces with white on them, onto the yellow face. Um, just like that. So just do that with the rest of the edges. And this part is completely intuitive, so um, you're just going to have to experiment with it. But it's only four pieces, so it, so it shouldn't be that hard for you to do. Um, all right, now we just got to find the last edge piece. It's right here. All right. Now remember, um, the colors, the corners don't matter at all. All you want is these four edge pieces to be white and that they're on the yellow face just like that okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up each edge piece with its center so for example this is the blue white edge piece so we're gonna line it up with the blue center just like that and then you're gonna twist it 180 degrees like so and now we've got um, the blue white edge piece um, on the white side and it's lined up with the center. So go ahead and do that with the rest of them. So red's already lined up with red. Twist 180 degrees. Um, orange to orange. 180 degrees. And the final one, the green. I'm going to move that to the green side like that. Mm -hmm, like that. Alright, so now you should have a white cross on the white side. And our next step is to look for corner pieces with white on them in the top layer. And I don't have any. So, um, if you do, 
then just wait. I'll get to you in a second. If you don't like me, um, look for a piece in the bottom layer like this, and you just want to move it up to the top layer. So um, put it so the white is facing you, and go like that. Twist it away from you on the up face, and bring it back down. And so you're going to look for corner pieces that are like this, where they have a color on top, a color on the side, and then white, um, like that. So you want to look what color is on the other side. In this case, it's blue. Don't worry about the top. So we just want the blue. And line it up with the blue center. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move this um, whatever side it's on, in this case it's the left side, move it up, back, like, so move the face up, and then bring it and connect it with its, with its edge piece, like that, and then bring it back down. And as you can see now, this corner piece is in place, and it matches up with both centers. Um, so here we have another one, this one's green, so we're going to move it to the green side, and place it just like that. And in here we have a red one, move it into place like that. And um, now it doesn't look like I'm going to have a case where you have white on the top, um, so I'll make one. If you have white on the top like this, it's a very easy fix. Just twist the face it's on once and um, make sure you're not going to be messing up any corners you've already placed. So in this case I'm moving it on an unplaced corner. And just move it up and around. And um, now it's in the layer that you want it to be in. So line it up with the red center, red to red, diagonal, and then place it, just like that. All right, um, now we're gonna be on to part two, which is going to be completing the middle layer. That's this layer right here. And so I'm gonna be linking that in the video right now. And um, yeah, if your cube looks like this with white on the bottom and T's, what I mean by that is you got a green T right here, a green upside down T, an orange upside down T, blue upside down T, so on. Then you are good to go and continue on to the next video. If your cube doesn't look like this, um, then you mess up somewhere along the line. But don't worry, just um, watch this video again and take it as slow as you need to um, until you get it right.